All right, first up on our top 10 list is Gregory Alper and Jihun Huang. These two worked on some projects that I'm sure you've heard of, even if you've never heard of them. Like Mech Warrior. They worked on a few other projects that ended up going through the Activision's uh, publisher. Um, but Mech Warrior 2 and its expansions, the uh, Mech Warrior 2 Ghost Bears Legacy and Mech Warrior 2 Mercenaries. Those are the primary projects that they worked on uh, with FASA for that franchise. And their music to me is one of a kind and definitely made Mech Warrior a very memorable experience. It was aggressive and frantic, but it also had some deep and kind of suspenseful uh, moments that had either electric strings or um, horns that were sort of in a, in a spacey reverb type atmosphere. Really distinctive sound. And then they have rock and roll tracks like this that are almost a little bit bluesy. video games of the time, this was a really diverse soundtrack. It had marches with shrill electric minor keys going off in the background and some pretty cool guitar riffs too. Bridges and refrains. Also, they did another project called Interstate 76. And the music in this is good, but one of the things that makes it very distinctive or uh, memorable for me is that the bassist in all of these songs is a guy named Arian Salazar, who would go on to found Third Eye Blind or be one of the founding members, that is. And he's on bass in all of these songs, which they uh, they released as a group named Bullmark, I believe. And there were some other notable guys on there, too. And that's number 10, Gregory Albert and Shun 